fortunate that I was able to work inside the elections office for several years. I learned the value of democracy and how important it is to vote, but more importantly, how we need to have safe, accurate elections here in Hillsborough County. And that's why I've chosen this job, so that I can continue to work towards that. Do you ever think that you would have this job? I never thought I'd have this job. I actually spent 35 years in law enforcement right here at the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office. Uh, I came into this job in a roundabout way mm -hmm. by beginning to work in this office after I retired from the Sheriff's Office. But I'm truly honored to have this job. What's the hardest part about your job? What we do is very similar to putting on a Super Bowl. Uh, we have elections going on at over 300 venues throughout the entire county, and it lasts over a two-week period because of early voting. We also send out uh, a tremendous amount of vote-by-mail ballots. So the most difficult part of this is trying to put together all the logistics and make sure that everything happens with training and equipment so that people show up to vote on election day and we're ready for them to vote. What do you do on a daily basis? Every day I'm always looking at new technology. I'm always looking at policy and how we can get better at what we do. The one thing that I'm never content with is status quo. I think that we can always do a better job and that we're going to continue to make Hillsborough County the best place in America to vote. How does one get nominated for election? In Florida, people normally get nominated by their party, and that's why we have a primary election. It's where people in the same party vie for election, and whoever wins that is then considered nominated by the party, and they move on to the general election. The consequence for tampering with the votes? There's very specific laws about tampering with the vote, and it can end up being a criminal charge against someone if they attempt to or, in fact, were successful in trying to tamper with the vote. How would someone tamper with um, the votes? Well, first off, you have to be able to do it. Um, fortunately, here in Hillsborough County and with a lot of jurisdictions, we have so many safeguards in place that prohibit people from voting twice and we also only allow people that are eligible to vote to in fact cast a ballot. So because of these safeguards we have in place we don't see people attempting to tamper with votes. Do you think the voter age will ever like drop will be under 18? That's a great question but I can tell you that it's going to take people like you that are going to have to bring this issue forward to get legislation passed. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Burns Middle School and the teacher, Miss Tina Wood, for doing such a great job and being interested in elections and the democratic process. You all have gotten to experience actual voting and see what the outcomes are and who wins and who loses. So again, I applaud you for all of the work that you've done in discovering everything about elections.